In the world's five Mediterranean climate ecosystems, rain is fickle. The twin specters of drought and flood are always on the horizon. These regions receive the majority of their precipitation in the five or six months around winter. Hot, arid summers tend to parch vegetation. Dry conditions dramatically raise the chances of fire. Yet rainfall levels in Mediterranean areas can fluctuate tremendously across a single wet season, as well as from year to year. Big swings in precipitation set the stage for drought in some years and flood in others. All three of these forces, drought, fire, and flood, are major influences on Mediterranean climate regions, shaping their ecosystems, landscapes, and human communities. Of the five Mediterranean climate regions, California and central Chile experience the most rainfall variability, both within the course of a single year, as well as from year to year, and almost never receive summer rain. By contrast, the Cape region of South Africa and Southwest and South Australia get showers even in summer. These differences have affected the ecology of each region. The dry summers of Mediterranean climate regions put water stress on plants. Plants across all five ecosystems have adapted to drought in often similar ways. Many have hard, waxy leaves that reduce water loss. Such sclerophyllous leaves can maintain their shape even as tissues dehydrate. In addition, the seeds of native plants are often programmed to remain dormant until after soils have reached a minimum moisture level. This helps ensure germination occurs during the wet season. Because rainfall in Mediterranean regions is so seasonal, streams often stop flowing in summer. Others only run during storm events. As a result, stream mouths can get disconnected from the sea for months. Aquatic species native to Mediterranean areas have adjusted their life cycles to this pattern. Coho salmon, for example, lay eggs and migrate to and from the ocean only during the wet season. Providing enough water to support Mediterranean region cities and agriculture can be challenging. Demand for cooling and irrigation water is greatest in summer, exactly when supplies are lowest. A dry landscape and dry vegetation turn every Mediterranean summer into fire season. Fire has played a major evolutionary role in shaping most Mediterranean climate ecosystems. Fire-related plant traits include root crowns that re-sprout after fire, and seed-bearing cones that open after experiencing high temperatures. Seed release and germination after fire allows seeds to sprout on bare soil, instead of competing for light and nutrients with mature plants. The exception to this rule is Chile. The height of the Andes blocks most summer lightning storms, limiting ignition opportunities. Sparse vegetation due to human landscape changes and the lack of hot, dry summer winds also help limit fire risks. Humans have altered natural fire cycles in a number of ways, both intentionally and unintentionally. In California, for example, Native people have traditionally used fire to clear underbrush for many reasons, including to open areas for hunting and promote the growth of edible bulbs. In the modern era, people have made fire more frequent by igniting accidental blazes with machinery or cigarettes. At the same time, humans have sought to suppress fires to protect homes and property, 
causing a buildup of fuels in many areas. Altering a habitat's fire regime can trigger dramatic vegetation changes. Frequent fires can convert former shrublands to alien grasslands because native shrubs don't have a chance to reproduce. Suppressing accidental blazes to maintain relatively natural fire cycles can help preserve native chaparral, fanbos, and matorral communities. Fire can also be used as a management tool to give native plants an edge. For example, many chaparral wildflowers such as penstemon and matillaha poppies are stimulated to germinate by chemicals in smoke and ash. Burning helps such plants renew their populations. Rain follows every hot Mediterranean summer, sometimes in torrents. Where fires have left landscapes bare, soils are more easily eroded by the impact of raindrops, and runoff carries away even more sediment. Mud flows can be very destructive. Runoff and flooding also increase where fires have caused the formation of hydrophobic soils that resist water infiltration. These consequences of fire can drastically alter the shape and condition of streams, encouraging floods and creating dangerous conditions downstream. But rain also rejuvenates dry and burned landscapes. Its return each year continues the ancient cycle of drought, fire, and flood that have such a large role in shaping Mediterranean climate ecosystems. <laughs>